I guess I'm not clear exactly where all, you said there were eight shell casings on the roof, so eight bullets were fired. We obviously know that Mr. Compertori lost his life. Two other, two other rally goers were injured, seriously injured, and then the one that hit President Trump. Um, does that account for, was there, were some of these individuals hit multiple times? Where did all eight bullets go, is I guess my question. Uh, I don't have that in front of me. I'm happy to circle back and get that to you. Uh, it's assuming we have that information mm -hmm. yet. Um, uh, as I said, I think with, uh, with respect to former President Trump, um, there's, it, there's some question about whether or not uh, it's a bullet or shrapnel that, you know, that hit his ear. So it's, it's conceivable, although as I say here right now, I don't know whether that bullet, in addition to you know, causing the grazing, could have also landed somewhere else. Um, but I believe we've accounted for all of the shots and the cartridges, so let us get and, and that. It's my back. understanding that the very first one was the one that hit the president. Is that the very first shot, or is that not accurate? I, I don't, as I sit here right now, I don't know the answer to that. I believe we know the answer to that, I just don't have it in front of me. We still don't know for sure whether Donald Trump was hit by a bullet, whether he was hit by glass fragments, whether he was hit by shrapnel, we don't have those details. We actually have no details from his physician, even though this man is still a Secret Service protected, you know, and pres presidential candidate. We know almost nothing. Why? Why don't we know that much? We know that three people were shot. One person, unfortunately, was killed at the rally. We don't know where they were sitting or standing relative to him. We don't know why for nine full seconds, Donald Trump was allowed to stand back up during an active shooting, an active shooter situation, even though they at that point had said the shooter, the shooter was down. How would have they know? How would they, would they have known if there were more shooters or not? Nobody knew that there could have been five shooters for all they knew. Yet they allowed him to stand up in the middle of that you know, crisis and pose for a photo. Okay, so we're gonna get into this <laughs> ridiculous story coming from the Democrats. They call us conspiracy theorists, said that we're a bunch of tinfoil hat wearing crackpots. <laughs> but now, since their assassination attempt on Trump failed, since the powers that be, the FBI, Secret Service, whoever is behind what they tried to do to Trump, since it failed, they're scrambling. And one of the things that they're trying to come up with is this BS, dumbass story saying, no, Trump wasn't hit by a bullet. It must've been glass. It must've been shrapnel. Maybe a meteorite fell out of the sky. Did a comet hit him? We don't know what happened, but it wasn't an assassin's bullet. These people are angry, first of all, that their plan failed, that Trump survived, because they wanted his brains to be literally blown out the back of his head in front of the entire world. That's what they wanted, but it failed. So now they're trying to say, well, maybe he wasn't even hit. <laughs> and we're going to get into this article here from Newsweek. Completely ridiculous. So Trump had this bandage on his ear for a couple of weeks and they were talking crap about it. Oh, what's with this big gigantic bandage? Is it a prop? Now he's removed the bandage and they're saying, see, there's nothing on his ear. Maybe he was never shot to begin with. Maybe he was just lying to us. <laughs> and maybe when he got down on the ground, the secret service, they opened a pack of ketchup and put it on his ear. <laughs> it's so much nonsense because these people, first of all, they're playing backfire. And on top of that, Trump got one of the greatest photos in American history. People are going to look back from this if we don't die in a nuclear holocaust. A hundred years from now, people are going to look in the history books and they're going to see that iconic photo. And the Democrats hate it. They are so pissed because their gunmen failed and Trump got this great photo. So let's look at this article here. Donald Trump photo without ear bandage raises eyebrows. <laughs> Completely ridiculous, man. A photo of Republican presidential candidate Donald Trump taken on Saturday without his ear bandage has sparked a wave of speculation. <laughs> the image taken by Alex Brand of the Associated Press on July 27 and shared by photojournalist Pete Swozer on X formerly Twitter, that's a lot of yapping, <laughs> shows Trump walking up an airplane staircase with an apparently fully healed ear wound just weeks after he was shot with a high powered rifle. So, first of all, it was a graze. It wasn't a direct hit. 
as they wanted it to be. The bullet grazes his ears, and as Trump explained, what the doctor told him is that the ears bleed a lot, got a lot of tiny blood vessels there that just spew out blood with the tiniest cut. So it's not like we're expecting a large chunk of Trump's ear to be missing. <laughs> but since the ear healed, they're saying, well, nah, it must have never been damaged to begin with. That was just ketchup on his face. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the alleged gunman, whoever it is, Thomas Matthew Crooks, he's the front man. He's who they blame, but it was probably somebody behind him. Who knows? Open fire Trump's campaign rally in Butler. Killing firefighter Corey Comparatori, wounding Trump's upper right ear and critically injuring two others. So also known for his tenure as chief of white, uh, blah, 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 blah. Who cares about this? Look closely at his ear that was hit, they got in quotations more, by a bullet form and AR-15 assault rifle. So here's the photo in question. Allegedly, this was taken on July 27th. And they're trying to say, see, there's no signs of damage there. There's no chunk of the ear missing. This is weeks after the event. So this was fake. We don't believe that Trump ear healed. It's been weeks. We don't believe that. We believe that this whole thing was staged because it can't. That's all they got. Their assassination attempt failed. So now they want to peddle this nonsense. Oh, it could have been shrapnel. Oh, it could have been ketchup. This whole thing is fake. It was staged. Even though a guy, this firefighters, his brain was blown up. They're trying to ignore that and say, yeah, yeah, this whole thing is staged. Sosa's post followed speculation last week by FBI Director Christopher Wray about whether Trump's ear was hit by a bullet or by shrapnel. And this <laughs> FBI Director, who Trump actually put in office, I believe Trump is the one who installed this guy, but this guy ought to be ashamed of himself. And that's why I said in the last video, the FBI is against Trump. We saw the FBI raid Trump's house with all types of fever, enthusiasm, no resistance at all, saying, why should we do this? No, they were happy to, to raid Mar-a-Lago. On top of that, we saw them with the January 16th trying to set Trump up with the text messages on how to get Trump out of office and all that. And now you got the director <laughs> sitting here peddling this Democrat nonsense, talking about, was that shrapnel? Come on, man, you the director of the FBI. Stop it. And all he accomplished here is just giving fuel to these dumbass left-wing hateful nutcases. Who knows Trump was shot? They're just trying to push this talking point because they're jealous of the photo and they're mad that he survived. The FBI later confirmed he was hit by a bullet. So they had to put out a statement. The FBI had to correct their own director because he's a dumbass. And there was all types of backfire from this. So let's look at this headline here. So this man peddled this nonsense and jumped in bed with the Democrat Party. And the FBI, who is trying to pose as an independent, nonpartisan organization, put out a statement to correct him. Trump has made several public appearances since the assassination attempt wearing a bandage over his ear. I mean, I guess they expected him to, what, wear the bandage forever? It's been weeks, man. It, if you have a nick, a graze or something, it doesn't take forever to heal. At the most, if you have stitches, it'll take a few weeks. But what do they expect? <laughs> Sosa's profile, which had over 200,000 followers, now reads, this account doesn't exist. Try searching for another, implying that he has deleted or deactivated it. If he has been banned, it will read account suspended. X suspends accounts which violate the X rules. Newsweek reached out to Sosa and X for comment via email outside of business hours. On Saturday night, journalist David Labette shared a screenshot of Sosa's post and his account, which at the time read, something went wrong. Renowned photojournalist and White House photographer no longer exists on Twitter after posting an AP picture of Donald Trump, he wrote. <laughs> so what are they saying? This guy disappeared after pushing this nonsense? Later on Saturday, Levette posted a zoomed-in version of a different photograph showing Trump's seemingly intact ear with an AP watermark. Donald Trump doesn't want you to see this, he wrote. Do not share this picture of his ear. The post has been viewed 1.9 million times by Monday. In the zoomed-in photo shared by LeVette, Trump's hair is blocking the top of his ear where the wound is located. <laughs> These people, wow, man. This is all they got. All they can say is, no, nah, he wasn't shot. Even though we all saw it on camera. It was on live TV. We all saw what happened. The Democrats are trying to say, don't believe your lying eyes. And Brandon's photo shared by Sosa, in contrast, the top of Trump's ear is visible. The wound appears to have largely healed, leaving only a slight change of skin coloration. I think they mean discoloration. Sosa and Levette are not the only people speculating about Trump's bullet wound on X. Podcast host 
Jack Hopkins reposted Brandon's photo and wrote, The assassination attempt was just 14 days ago. Trump is 78 years old. 78-year-old human beings heal far more slowly. <laughs> so where was all this smoke? Where was this energy when we had the 80-year-old senile dementia patient? When he's falling all over the place, falling off bikes, stumbling, slurring, looking like he's half dead, mouth all open and stuff. And y'all said he was perfectly fine nothing to see here. We said, no, no, he's past that life expectancy. 81-year-old men have trouble holding their shit in. They shit on themselves like biting it at the bite again. 81-year-old men often have time walking properly, staying awake. And when we talked about this, you call us conspiracy theorists. <laughs> but now you want to talk about age. 70, he's 78. He can't heal that fast. It's been weeks since he took this graze bullet. <laughs> he mentioned his experience of seeing wounds as a nurse in an assisted living facility and said, I believe we're being lied to. Okay, so if you worked at an assistant living facility, you should have known something was wrong with Biden. You deal with the elderly all the time. So Parkinson's dementia, it should have been glaringly obvious to you. But where's your tweets about that? You have no smoke. So this is how you can tell this is just a partisan hack. <laughs> a Democrat hater jealous that Trump survived and that Trump got one of the greatest iconic photos in American history. <laughs> Self-described anti-establishment ex-user whoever, blah, 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 posted a different photograph of Trump on Saturday. His ear is miraculously healed in only 14 days after being grazed with a bullet, she wrote. Everyone should be questioning this. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's all they got, man, to just peddle this nonsense. His ear was never damaged. They put ketchup on his ear. Oh, it was fake. The whole thing was a hoax. It was staged. <laughs> Even though the firefighter got his brain blown out. Even though other, two other people got shot. Oh, no, no. This whole thing was staged. <laughs> and they let Trump take the iconic photo. And that's because it was staged. And please don't believe anything that Trump says. Don't believe your lying eyes. Don't believe what you saw with your own eyes. Just please believe the propaganda so we can stop Trump from winning the election. <laughs> but let me know what you guys think about this. Leave me your thoughts below. Share the video. Thanks for watching.